hello Taurus how are you guys doing welcome to my channel this is Cela V so I'm going to do a reading for you guys at this time I hope all is well I hope everybody's just enjoying the month of July and all that greatness or great jazz all right so let's get started let's see what spirit has for you guys let's see what's going on in that mind of yours spirit what is the message for my Taurus sun moon venus signs you guys are working hard only you fixated attached no somebody is like spying oh wow somebody is like really um focused on you somebody's really uh wanting some clarity here like where are you when are you going to contact someone is really 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 attached here someone's really attached here let's get another one Taurus, someone is thinking about you, but I can't, you know, while I was shuffling, all I heard was like working hard, working hard, focused, solitary. Okay. I understand. Uh, thank you, spirit. Someone is being very closed off. Can you see that? Being very closed off, withdrawn, acting like they want to be single. Acting like they want to be single, but I feel like this person's constantly thinking about you. Okay? I feel like this person's putting on this, like, facade. Like, I don't want to be with you. Um, I want to be by myself. Or I don't want to be with you. I want to be silent. Or they may not be speaking. It's like you're not able to read this person. But I feel like this person has their eye on you. Or you may have your eye on someone, Taurus. But either way, someone wants a new beginning, but they're not really saying anything. Um, for a lot of Tauruses right now, I'm feeling like you've literally turned your back. Because the energy I'm getting, when I started shuffling, is like, I'm really focused on me. The energy I felt was like uh, focusing on myself-ish, okay, type vibe. So I feel like a lot of you guys are just focusing on yourself, focusing on your growth, your money, your yourself, right? But somebody doesn't want to get you off their mind or not able to. Okay, this could have been like something where I don't want to say it was a hookup here, but I definitely feel like this was a relationship that didn't want to get off the ground. Somebody was being very flaky here, and I feel like you turned your back, and like I hear Taurus is saying, is like tired of the games. What was that? Oh, someone's wearing a false mask here. Wearing a false mask, um, trying to play mind games, trying to, or try to, or manipulating, right? Addicted to you, addicted to um, knowing that they have some sort of control. Okay, this person could have been very deceptive. Very deceptive. Very deceptive, guys. Um, you know, and I feel like for some of you guys, you just figured out, like, this person plays a lot of games with me, or this person really doesn't show me who they are i feel like this person's acting like they don't care acting like they don't love you acting like they don't want a new beginning remember we had the beginning card here but i feel like this person's trapped in their mind trapped in their mind you have the trapped card there too trapped in their mind not really wanting to show you who they really are not wanting to express their love right they could have been hurt in the past yeah, for some of you guys right now, you're focused on your academics. You're focusing on school. You're focusing on moving forward here. You're not really worried about this person. This person could have left and act as if they had other things to focus on, but it wasn't really true, right? But I feel like for you right now, you're like, honestly, I'm not going to play this game anymore. I really want to progress. I want to um, invest in something that's that's worth it and not invest my time into someone that is not sure if they want to be with me or not. Like, I'm trying to get to my Ten of Pentacles here. Like, can I live is what I'm hearing. Can I live? Spirit, what else is... All right. What's going on? All right, so we have some regrets here. Somebody must have said something very um, mean, right? I'm feeling like someone's possibly still trapped, trapped in their mind, not able to make a move, all right? Someone's not moving. It's like they're going back and forth in their head. 
there possibly you know a lot of heartbreak here possibly they were hurt in the past or hurt in other relationships all right i feel like this person may have this fear of um moving into a committed uh relationship here but i feel like again like i said this person's honestly feeling a lot of guilt feeling a lot of um disappointment okay and i feel like this is you too taurus where you're feeling like you honestly gave this a lot of your time and you honestly really cared about this person you really did person could have been like a student or something like that or you guys met in school right this person's possibly really book smart whatever the case is right you basically just felt really disappointed when this person didn't know what they wanted the way they just turned their back it's like one minute yeah, fire. It could be a fire sign. One minute this person was rushing towards you, and the next minute this person was acting as if they didn't want a relationship anymore. All right? I feel like you could have been dealing with someone that was really focused on their career. They were never focused on you. You know what I mean? Like they had other things going on all the time. They would ghost. I don't know what's going on. Could have been a Gemini. I'm hearing Gemini here. All right? Let's see what else does my. Taurus need to know spirit at this time yeah yeah this person definitely wants a commitment with you but I feel like this person's really stuck in their head all right this person could have had another relationship on the side and you found out about it but I feel like this person's really trapped in their mind really trapped in their mind not knowing what decision to make here and it's like a battle it's like a, a mental battle that they're you know ex experiencing it's like they want to be with you, but they go into like this hermit mode here where they're not saying anything to you. And you're like, I'm tired of waiting for you to make up your mind about how you truly feel. Because you know this person, you know this person really guards their emotions, but I feel like the connection that you felt with this person, you thought like they would kind of like, you know, ease up on that a little bit. Yeah. And I feel like this person had a tendency of coming back like in and out of your life where they would tell you one thing and then, you know, do something else. But I feel like here you honestly put your foot down and you're like, I'm done. I'm like so done. I'm really so focused on greatness. I'm so focused on greatness right now. All right. I feel like a lot of you guys have literally blocked this person off, blocked their number, changed your number and honestly just wanting to move forward not wanting to um indulge in this sort of energy anymore because it's so deceptive and i feel like this person is really submerged in this energy of fear where they're just afraid to move forward with real love but they just want to just spy on the side watch you on the side and i feel like for some of you guys you've possibly reached out to this person tried to call this person and this person ignored ignored you ignored your att um, attempts and it's like i'm not calling you anymore homie <laughs> i'm not gonna call you anymore because i've called you so many times i've tried to reach out i tried to tell you how i feel and you're not really expressing anything so i'm not too sure what else you want me to do right but i feel like deep down inside this person's just in their head trying to figure out if you're going to give them another chance or if there's going to be another opportunity here. Let's clarify. Let's clarify. Let me get my clarify. Uh, let's get another deck here. Yeah, but I feel like in the past, this person was very flaky. Um, this person possibly wasn't honest with you with a lot of things like um, as far as their past goes. Um, and they were just always as like they always had like other... I feel like this person was very moody too. Very moody is what I'm hearing. I'm going to clarify the devil here. Sorry, can you clarify the devil for me, please. Okay. All right, let's get another one. Yeah, this person was very moody. One more, please, spirit. One more. All right, so this person couldn't make a decision. They couldn't make a decision. It's like they promised to change and they just, <laughs> I feel like this person wanted to change, right? They wanted to change. It was like, I feel like this person was really trying to work on themselves, but it was just always a fail. Either way, I feel like this person couldn't make a decision with commitment. 
It's like one day they really wanted to be with you and the next day it's like they were possibly still dealing with their past person. Um, this person could have been very addicted to drinking or has some sort of um, like a mental disability or something like that. But I feel like this person was very like on and off and you're just, you were just so tired of like the back and forth. And I feel like your intuition was telling you that this person was possibly still dealing with someone from their past or uh, really just not being honest with, you know, someone in their life and getting an energy that someone else was around them and they weren't being honest about that person, you know, that relationship with that person. Okay. Hence why this person would, you know, close off go go ghost okay all right so here i feel like the truth came out <laughs> i feel like the truth came out and you turned your back right i feel like this person was moving very slow um this person was not taking any type of action could have been dealing with a virgo here but this person wasn't really moving this person would um you know randomly go into a place of um solitary they would they would become withdrawn and they just wouldn't speak anymore and i feel like the truth came out this person's like true colors came out and you realize like this person's honestly wasting my time and playing with my emotions and i feel like your intuition was like screaming at you like and now you're in a place where you're just like i'm honestly just going to focus on my progression and no longer wanting to play games with anybody either yeah i feel like you guys possibly got into some sort of disagreement with this person um where you just had enough right i feel like this person was verbally I say verbally abusive but their words were a, a bit harsh okay <laughs> to say the least and that's not something that you really wanted to deal with but intuitively i felt like spirit was definitely speaking to you about this person here but i feel like this person's sitting in a place of regret here where they honestly want to speak to you but for some reason they're holding themselves back holding themselves back crazy all right i feel like this person wants to come your way they want to take a leap of faith right and i feel like for some of you guys this person's honestly clearing up something in their past trying to get rid of some past baggage here and they're trying to communicate with you i don't see it happening in july right for some i definitely see it in august where this person has like this little light uh, form of um, <laughs> communication, right? If they're not blocked, right? But I feel like this person thinks about you a lot, you know? They try to um, stalk your Facebook, Instagram, whatever you guys have, uh, your business. They try to figure out what you, you know, what you're up to, fearing to tell you the truth. Yeah, but they're going to take their time. They're going to take their time here. And we have the lovers at the bottom of the deck, of course. They're going to take their time to come and tell you the truth, Taurus. But for a lot of you guys, I feel like you're just like, this is so like outdated. This has taken so long. I've literally um, tried to get to a place of the Ten of Cups here with this person, but this person constantly was neglecting this connection. Again, you guys could have been dealing with a Gemini here um, or Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. But I feel like someone was constantly just playing with this love. Just maybe one day, no, maybe yes. And it, it just became draining, honestly. Yeah. This person's possibly ending another relationship here with someone, um, someone from their past and, you know, wanting to come towards your way. But I feel like this person's still trapped in their mind. They're still trapped in the past. So I feel like this person's honestly trying to heal themselves and trying to have a new direction or a fresh start or um, work through their, their inner demons, honestly, right? But I feel like the moment that you cut this person off where you just stopped speaking to them, it just really took a toll on them because, I mean, they were pushing you away, you know what I mean? And I feel like now they're just regretting that, honestly. They're just like, oh man, I really, I really messed this one up, okay? You guys could have been dealing with a Leo too, is what I heard. Leo or Scorpio. Spirit, what does my amazing Taurus need to hear at this time moving forward? What do they need to know? Does my Taurus need to know here moving forward? Okay, we have one card. We have be true to your heart's desire. 
Yeah. I feel like honestly, a lot of you guys, Taurus, right now, you're um, really focusing on your career. I know I said that before, but I really feel it here. You're really focusing on um, just keeping yourself busy, keeping your mind away from any sort of distractions, not letting negative thoughts or past thoughts control you any longer. Like, I feel like this person... <sighs> Yeah, I feel like this person really thought that you were going to constantly chase them and constantly try to figure out like what's going on. But now you're just really redirecting all of that energy to yourself, loving yourself more and more and, you know, organizing your dreams and or planning out things, being more strategic. You guys are really strategic anyways, but you're just really focused on your heart, really focused on your feelings and being gentle with yourself as well. Okay, I hope this resonated for you guys. Okay, I know there was a lot of stories here, but I will talk to you guys on your next video. Have an amazing July. Bye.